Well, it arrived. This is my uh, Tektronix oscilloscope. But back in the day, this would have cost you a pretty penny, but now it's like considered old obsolete technology. But it's really cool because it has a an analog tube here. This is not a digital display. All all these mod modern scopes have been upgraded in quotes and um, have digital displays now. But this guy shows you the real deal. It shows you the it was it, it's got a a beam sweep, so it's very similar in a lot of ways to the display on an asteroids machine, right? It's very old technology, but it's it's kind of how it's, it's like the scopes we used in high school, you know. This is this is how scopes used to work. It's actually a lot more effort. I mean, with an oscilloscope like this, you can you can basically apply the voltage directly to the the beam deflection through some kind of amplification, you know, whatever filtering you're doing and it will move the beam and in modern displays modern scopes have rasterization and gets in the way they, they capture data they then raster, they then render the data then they put a bitmap on the display it's kind of really indirect and they're all trying to emulate this and of course they can't because they've got limited resolution um so uh let's just see this thing in action it's dual channel so they're they're just free floating right now um it, it was a bit tricky to turn this on because this is actually, uh, you know, it's, you know, it was, it was just a, it, it looked dud. I thought the thing was broken until I fidgeted around with some of these control settings and got the sweep going. But it has a test mode, so this probe adjust uh, is, is basically a calibration. It gives you half a volt at uh, kilohertz, so you can, you can put your probe in there, and. You can see it's generating a signal. Now the trouble here is it's not synchronizing to the signal. So that's this switch over here, I guess. So now it's locked to channel one, and then I can, you know, I can position channel one up and down and change the the scale and stuff on channel one. It's pretty good. Change the the divisions. You know, I'm not going to bother with that too much. It, suffice to say it works to some degree or other and of course it's it, it, it triggers the synchronization based on some of the configurations and level settings over on this side and if I similarly if I do channel 2 which is in, in this lead uh, it's, it's, it's drifting so I'll synchronize that up and it locks so you can lock to channel 1 or channel 2 for purposes of synchronization and then you can if you're syncing one or the other because they're both in the same signal, if you put them into the probe calibration, you can see them both simultaneously. So beautiful. And of course, you can calibrate these independently. So if I adjust the volts on channel 2, I guess, you see it's, it's a different amplitude because I'm scaling it here. Uh, so it's working. This is a great eBay buy. 75 bucks on eBay. This scope would, you know, if you buy like a working scope, I've seen these on sale even now for like four or five hundred bucks. And of course it's all obsolete technology. It's so called, but it's a working scope. It's a, it's a really great, what was once upon a time a reasonably high-end scope. You know, 60 megahertz oscilloscope, dual channel, analog. Perfect for messing around with uh, stuff like your asteroids machine. So if I turn on my asteroids machine, right, and test DC, so if I, if I, here we go, I'll actually press the switch here, because the door's open, and then I might need an extra set of hands here, and then probe the, if you hear a loud bang, <laughs> if I, I'm on channel one, I want to lock the channel one, and I may have to do two channels here. I'll stick this on the transformer output, which is only about 12 volts DC. I've measured it with my meter beforehand. And I'm just going to probe one channel here. I need to, probably need to set it to DC actually, or AC. It's not DC, it's 12 volts AC. Set it to this, you'll see. Oh, I need to change the scale. Volts. Volts. Right. 
just change the amplitude of the signal. Ah, you see something's going on there. I guess I need a 10x scale probe or something. I connect with that one. Dang it. And then I want to oh, also want to change the the scale. So increase the scan frequency. There we go, AC, that's the AC coming out of my transformer on the Asteroids machine. Uh, there you go, ignore channel 2. That's pretty damn cool. And then, can't seem to adjust the frequency any, or the amplitude any lower. That's just one channel versus ground. Um, so uh, yeah it's working and it's measuring AC and it's pretty damn awesome I'm excited now if I can get some uh, if I can use this 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 can operate in X and this and Y if I can get the X and Y uh, uh, inputs on my on my uh, uh, video output you know if I can get X and Y analog uh, to go through this instead of my asteroids machine I should see some asteroids and spaceships flying around the screen here I'm gonna try and get that going at some point uh, exactly where I've got a probe I don't know I got X and Y off the board but I think that's got to be digital X and Y because I think the the DAX are up on the XY board I think so uh, anyway I think I have to probe the XY board post DAC otherwise I'll just get pulses on here but pretty damn cool you know bargain ebay bargain guys get yourself an oscilloscope it's awesome